to another episode of the fans taking on the world and we're back here with our own little next episode where we're just going to be kind of again just we're just kind of like chilling out here um doing passing a lot of reforms um i'm trying to for the map for the life of me i'm trying to make sure i do not pass okay i can give you guys minimum safety relating regulations i still don't want to pass the law with 14 hour days because that's just going to make my factories way too um efficient and right now it seems like a lot of people in my country are starting to become more and more wealthy with all these like recent reforms i'm starting to pass and someone is tampering with our empire spain is no longer ah uh, how is spain even winning just i, I want to know that how is it even winning i should be like defeating them severely in this place um but yeah it seems like over the past couple of years, it seems like a lot of nations are starting to, like, challenge me. Um, we have the Chinese who have tried to, like, gain themselves above me. I quickly dispelled that and took them down. Um, we've also have, like, the Italians and Swedish trying to make a name for themselves. Sweden has definitely risen above them, above what we thought they could do. Um, it is Italy, that's, Italy, that's something typical we thought they would do, so. Um, yeah, and the Poland has now... We're trying to reintegrate Poland into our sphere while they're the communists. Uh, to be fair though, I kind of have like six different communist nations. And right now, the sphere of influence looks like this. We have a huge, gigantic, a huge, gigantic power vacuum right here. Um, we have the Boxer Rebellions. Oh my goodness, I wish I could do that right now. And another war event has just seized up. Trouble is brewing. It seems like the diplomatic crisis of Poland is here. Um, I'm wondering if I support this. Um, you know, I'm gonna be a back. I'm gonna be a spectator, but I'm not actually gonna be the one to join in. Cause you know, I don't think I'm. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for that type of commitment. Because I knew this was coming for a very long time, and I'm not sure if I could. I was never sure which side I would join in, in the ultimate end. So. Yeah, and how is, it seems like me owning the entire Brazilian line has not affected the Brazilians at all. They seem to be just happy with me just owning everything. And, yeah, I'm collapsing a lot of these, like, stupid little factories. And now since we got our states under control again, we can give out regulations and stuff. And it seems like no one else in the world wants to help Poland. Which is sad. That is a really sad event to know that no one else in the world wants to help Portugal. I mean, not Poland, Portugal. And yes! Oh, finally! Uh, yes, we are interested in this crisis. Um, trouble is brewing. The Chinese, oh, the Chinese decided to join in. And by the way, uh, Poland finally did what I thought they would do, and they finally took that little region right there. So now they look actually like a decent-sized nation with 2.76 million people, which they actually could still keep expanding, which I'm hoping they'll do because... They have lots of cores. And yeah. But anyways, let's continue. I have a couple small factories co collapsed in um, Lanchester. Um, Lanchester, I'm going to have to go there. Um, right here. Just a couple, but it seems like my industries are starting to like build up. And is there anything? It seems like the sides are becoming, I guess the sides are becoming a little bit crucial. Um, it seems like the Italians will support the United States, um, the Swedish will support the other side, um, I might humiliate the United States to man this, uh, China, why did you have to add that? You know I can't support that, ah, uh, oh my goodness, and either way this is gonna turn out, this is gonna turn into a great war, so, um, hmm, who do we want to support? Our actual allies? Penalty for not taking a side. Penalty for not taking a side. Um, or do we want to, I guess I'll just wait for whoever, whoever side goes first, because, you know, with my power in mind, I could probably tip whatever scale happens, so, we're just going to see what happens, we're just, we're just going to see what happens, and see if all the, if all my allies, if both Ita Italy, Sweden, both join the United States and I'll definitely join these guys because these guys are ultimately my really good alliance and you know it'd be quite funny if I still have these guys feared even after they become my allies 
it would be really quite hilarious if they do. And Austria, as we know it, is starting to be broken up more and more. Um, more and more nations are starting to take their little piece of Austria. And right now, um, I want to get some bolt action rifles. That way I have some more advanced militaristics. And can I now finally produce some tanks? Let's test this out. Um, let's build one tank brigade and move it up. Not in Africa. Not in Africa. I have to make sure I be very careful about this. So one tank brigade. We're going to build in Strattenburg. We're going to make it like the top priority. The top priority list. Um, yeah, it's on the top priority. And let's see. Can I actually start making these things? Do they actually have tanks nowadays? Um, we have the canned food to build this, but we just, yeah, it's the tanks. It's the tanks. I don't think we have any actual, like, tank factories to build these. So, yeah, it, it's sad because I would really want to. You know what? Ah, uh, capitalist. Get on it, seriously. You guys are annoying me. Get on with building that, uh, those tank factories. I need to start producing some so I can start, like, outproducing everyone else in the world. And how's the crisis going? It seems like neither side really wants to join it. Um, in fact, the Italians look like they want to join the Chinese more now. Um, you know what, Pruitt, I'm going to support these guys. That should tip the scale completely in their favor. Not yet. What? Okay, I may have chosen the wrong side. Uh, except, no I did not, and... It is official, the Portuguese now gain back the little sphere right here, and I'm trying to reintegrate them in my policy, but I'm having too many fights. Right here, Brazil, we can give up a little bit. Um, we still need to research the Prince of Belly because we do need them in our, our sphere. Um, Romania is our friend. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, but yeah, we finally, Portugal, after a long time, finally gained their little upper part. And, in fact, I'll build a little, hmm. Now I'll do exactly what I did for the other guys and just completely take over their economy. Because I want to make sure that they do not own anything at this point. Sweden. Ah! Sweden? If you guys are serious about this, if you guys are serious about versing me. Okay, let's see. I gain 1.0.183. They gain... Way more than me. Way more than me. And I'm even... Dang. I might actually lose this to Sweden. Huh. Never thought I'd ever be hearing myself say those words. Well, it's okay. Sweden's one of my allies. It isn't like they're going to betray me anytime soon, but... Dang, that kind of makes me feel sad because Spain and I have been such great friends over the years. Or uh, maybe if I form an alliance with them. At least New Zealand I adapt. There we go. That should actually give us maybe the boost we need to like gain what we want. That might. Um, recording. Recording. Okay. Um, yeah. Just that. Just that. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Why well, no? Okay, it's not that. I know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of like burning off in for me and just watching the world burn slowly but surely. And just every single nation just, I don't know, try to recover from the great war that happened. I mean, right now, this is just me just enjoying the war. And the Principality of Somalia land is going to be under my sphere because we actually do need these guys. Because if you ever want to make sure our empire is united, we need both these guys, because they own most of my, like, little region over here. And if I use them all... Okay, all splendor. Lose prestige, lose prestige. All splendor. All splendor. Seriously. All splendor. Okay. Let's go to our small arms factory that got destroyed. Psycho psychology, somehow non-colonial violence is now starting to spread. Which is good. That's always a good thing. And I think these ports are now ready to upgrade into level 5 or level 4. Okay, and do we have our first Dreadnought? Oh, yeah! We have our first Dreadnought build! Uh, this, this is kind of a joyous time for us. We just built our first Dreadnought. Which means now we have officially a gigantic, huge army. We have a good amount of 
we have one of the, uh, if not, we have one of the most powerful navies in this entire game. Which means, oh my god, a colonial power has completely gone up from that, which kind of stinks because we're kind of at the end of the game. And, oh, if I had known about that, I would have, I would have improved my, my ships a long time ago. An American liberation of Idaho. Oh, finally, the United States is finally pouncing on that. And this is actually a perfect time because... The UK can't do anything, they have no army. And I'm officially back to spewing uh, Poland. Poland and me are now friendly nations, which is good. And like I said, Poland is actually shaping up to be an actual contender for a powerful nation because they actually have, if you look at them, they actually have a good sized army now. I mean, they could actually legitly take on the Austrian forces. And potentially the Germans, if I'm not really doing anything. With, you know, with some ease. So, you know, congratulate them. And how are we doing with our production? <gasps> oh, no. No, no, no. Yes! Okay, okay. Yes! We finally got our production of tanks now good. So, time to make just a ton of tanks. And what that means, though, is that artillery has now become obsolete. And so have horses. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let me get those guys. No, that's not the wrong army. There we go. Delete these guys. They have a fish. Yeah. So now everyone, tanks and tanks and and cavalry have become obsolete in this game. Mm. Which is actually a good portion of my army. But, yeah. So, we're going to slowly, we're going to, not slowly, I guess, not slowly, I guess is the word. We're going to carefully and concisively destroy a lot of my, uh, my, uh, useless and outdated units. So we can make room for the best in the French Empire. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, it was a little bit less. So, this one's a one. Okay. There we go. Now, ah, oh, dang, I just made all these units, too. Okay. Well... We just have to make sure that we will combine all these guys. And just make sure these guys are all even in the end. Okay, nope, I need the other one. The bigger one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we're just going to slowly and surely just start integrating new uh, army into our... Into our realm. Wow. Combat. Combat has improved and... Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my goodness! We are now in the age of tanks, which is, that is awesome. And America, again, has finally started their liberation of Idaho, which I am so glad of. Are they at war with, um, they could probably get a lot of the influence if they're at war with Canada. No, Canada apparently does not have an alliance with the UK. That's kind of weird. It's not the norm. And Russia, I think, has, with its my jet gigantic yes we shall attend with its gigantic uh, mobilization front is finally be taking control over the French communists um, but I'm not sure if the problems are gonna end there because they still mm, from what I can see a good proportion of the people are still socialist and crises are emerging still as usual the Albanian crisis I'm still waiting for the Albanian crisis and apparently there's a flashpoint oh shoot there's a flashpoint over there San Francisco Bay exploded that's good, or not so good. Population, there we go. And I think our war subsidies have finally come to an No, we still have not come to an end. We're still producing a lot from this. And I have to remember sometimes just decrease factory relationships. Lazy Navy's not adapt. And yeah, <laughs> wow. And look how much our factories are making right now. We are making everything's in the green and Italy's definitely trying to fight me for. Italy's definitely trying to fight me for Spain. That's the. Uh, I'm wondering if that's the only reason it's actually concentrating on. Hmm. If I if I was Sweden, I would concentrate on. On. Oh no! I didn't mean pacifism. Dang it! Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, uh, can factory collapsed in a little place I don't really care about. Can factory. There we go. Alright, so a little place, if I was Sweden, I would definitely concentrate on, let's see, what are they working on? Okay, if they're working on all the same places as me, that's just, 
they're not gonna win. Yeah, it seems like Sweden's just trying to like annoy a lot of people. Or like trying to take a lot of this land. Long live farms in whatever place that is. Explosive Bales Factory. And I got a new influence. Who am I gonna influence? Spain again. I think I got cut down to Cordial last time. Yep. Cordial. Yeah, it seems like this the Spanish, I mean the Swedish are slowly starting to inch out. And Oh, the factory was right there. I just saw that. Yeah, we can't start a position in Somaliland. Because actually, we do want Somaliland to be underneath our sphere of influence. I don't think anyone else is ever going to claim this nation. As much as it hates me to say this, this nation is kind of worthless. Okay, raise the tariffs. No. We do not have tariffs in our country. We do not believe in tariffs. I guess it's the better way of putting it. And, oh, where's our first tank? Where's our first tank? I'm I'm so like ready for this. I'm so ready for this advancement in times. And oh my goodness, I think wait wait. I think my uh liberal my uh, conservative party has finally won a legit election. Let's see. Um the opportunists or the royalist the SFIO. And now finished. Opportunists are now the new ruling party. Uh no, the opportunists took power again. So what I do for that is go to the nearest royalists who hopefully have everything I want. Protectionism. Oh, the SFFO is the socialist. Ah, I see. Socialists want a good amount of the party. But yeah, I'm going to go to them and just like, yeah, just chill. And oh, the Prince Belly of Somaliland. We can now go to that. That's not Somaliland. No, that is Somaliland. Okay, increase. We're now friendly relationships with them. And Sweden needs some help. What's happening with Sweden? Um, Sweden liberation of Northern Finland. Uh, I think at that, yep. And at that point, everyone, it seems like um, our entire world just collapsed. The subsidies are done. And it's now time for essentially a big gigantic um, scale run with all the nations now building up and since that's actually the case no I'm not gonna join Sweden I'm sorry Sweden but you guys are gonna become a least alliance here soon so no and yeah I mean now that the money's all over with speaking of which now that the money's all over with back to about 60% Back to about 65% tariffs. I mean, it, it was enjoyable while it lasted. We didn't have to do with much. But, like I said, business is business. Business is business. Okay. And now I'm making the green again. Not as much as we used to, but enough to where we'll still have enough. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys. Oh, uh, wait. Last thing to learn. Lazy Dave's to learn how to adapt. I'll see you guys next time.